Hi guys, welcome back to our shop and I buy things. Um, I am probably a week late or more than a week late in filming this video, full disclosure. Um, this is my packing video for Disneyland. We went to Disneyland on January, at the end of January. I can't even remember the dates now. Um, today is February 10th. Um, so obviously I've been back for some time now, um, but I, I didn't unpack because I wanted to get this video out just to show you what I normally bring to Disneyland when I go. Um, we went for four days and it was me, my son, and my mom. We're all adults. Um, and this is, these are the bags that just I brought. Um, this bag here is not something oh i always bring this bag um but it doesn't always have things in it i always have it like folded up in there just in case we need an extra bag for anything um but this time it had things in it because we went to the 80s party so uh, my son and i um dressed up for the 80s party so those clothes are in here um and all of our accessories are in this bag This bag is my park bag. So this is the bag that I bring to the park every single day. This bag stays packed. There are some things from my normal everyday purse that I put in here, but for the most part, everything that's in here stays in here. Um, and then I just pull it out when we're going to Disneyland. What's that bag? Oh. This bag here. Um, I always bring this bag, but really, I just bring it just because I always bring it. There's really nothing in here. I bring um, that orange bag that I normally have that goes in here. Um, I have another um, extra kind of backpack bag that I put in here. If I bring my fanny pack, I'll put that in here. Um, it has ponchos in here. So just, um, it has some buttons, some pins, some lanyards. So just in case we need anything while we're on the trip that I know I have and I don't want to spend additional money on, it's always in this bag. I never unpack this bag as well. Um, so I always just grab this when I'm packing for Disneyland and just put that in the car as well. And this um, kind of caboodle container, I got this from Target a hundred years ago. Um, this has all of our toiletries in there. Um, this has everyone's toiletries in it. So, um, it has, well, I'll show you what's in it, but everyone's toiletries will go in here. Sometimes I'll put additional like hair products and things in there. The day of deodorant, soap, things like that, that I'm using, um, the morning that I leave, but I always bring this again, this stays packed. Um, any trip that I'm going on where I can bring this. Now, if I'm going on an airplane, I don't bring this, but any trip that I can go on, if I'm in the car, that I um, need all of this stuff, especially if I'm packing for my whole family, I always bring this. And then this bag, I also don't recall where I got it. I've had it for a long time maybe burlington i'm not sure um but this is the bag that i always bring to disneyland or again anywhere that i'm going in a car um that i could bring if i'm going on an airplane i bring my hard-sided um carry-on luggage but this is what i normally bring for disneyland now like i said i've been home for a week um so I needed to do laundry and all of that. So I was like, I need to get this stuff unpacked. So in these front two things, um, I don't normally have anything in there. Like if I forget something, I put my keys in here. Um, and then I just leave them in there because I don't drive when I'm there. And my house keys and things like that. Um, right now, I just have some um, oral, like if your mouth hurts or whatever. I don't know. That just stays in there. Um, on the side zippers, I have... My lotion, I always just bring the lotion that I'm currently using at the house. Um, I have another one over there. I bought this one because that one's low. I bought this one especially for my Disneyland trip. Um, I always have plastic baggies, always. I don't know what goes in here, but I always find a use for them. I always just keep them in there. Um, 
I always keep this in here as well. So, you know, just feminine products. Seems like I'm always meeting those when I go to Disneyland. This time, I did not, though. Um, this is just a souvenir bag that just stays in there in case I need it. Um, a Target bag. So, nothing really goes over there. On this side, it has um, so a body spray and um, the lotion that goes with it. I always bring one um, that I use just for the whole trip. Um, sometimes I don't even bring one because I always have like a couple of body sprays like in my bag or something. Um, but I always bring this just to you know smell nice. This is always in here. It's just a nourishing body lotion. So just in case I forget or somebody else forgets and they don't want to use the lotion that I bring, it's, this stays in here just as a Burt Speeds body lotion. This is another body spray. It's Victoria's Secret. Tender Whispers. It's old. It always stays in here. And that's it. So for clothes. So the weather when we went down to Disneyland, um, here where I live... Um, which it takes about five and a half hours for us to drive there. Um, here where I live, sorry, um, it was kind of cool, 60s, 70s, really cold at night and early in the morning. So I brought kind of cool clothes. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, I put the screenshot of the weather app on, I'm going to lower this camera just a little bit. Um, I put the screenshot from the weather app and it was going to be 70s um, the whole time that we were there. And when we got there, it went up to like 80s for Friday and Saturday. And we were there. I didn't go to the park on Saturday, but we were still down in Southern California on Saturday. Um, so I didn't really pack right. I didn't pack any shorts, which is fine because it gets cool at night. But um, I'm not really sure in what order I wore these, um, but... I will show you what I packed. Um, so this is just like a jogging suit. It's pants and a coat, just like a pullover um, hoodie sweatshirt. I got this from Costco uh, last year. I got this from Costco last year, so I packed that. Um, and I actually ended up wearing that one of the days. And I just didn't wear the coat during during the day and then when it got cool at night I just put the, the hoodie on and that was fine it was small enough to fold up in my backpack I brought a pair of jeans um, these jeans also I got from Costco these jeans I didn't end up wearing I brought these um, but I didn't end up wearing these because I didn't want to be in hot jeans all day I think the day that I was gonna wear these I end up wearing some leggings this shirt, um, this shirt is a Lion King shirt. It's long sleeve. Um, and I did end up wearing this one of the days. Um, it wasn't too hot. It's not very thick, but it is long sleeve. So if you get a little cool, and I, I stay cold, so that was no problem. Um, these are a pair of black just a pair of black jeans. I think I got these from, oh no, these I got these from Tori. Um, these are a pair of black jeans. I just got these for Christmas actually. Um, and I wore that with the, with the Lion King shirt. One of the days. Um, oh, this is some long john. So I have this shirt in there somewhere. Um, I brought these because A, I'm always cold. And then B, the night that it was the 80s party, it was an after hours party. So um, this is the shirt that goes with that. It was an after hours party. So it didn't start until nine. You could get in the park at seven. We have season passes. So we were in the park all day. It was a really, really long day. It was the same day that we rode Rise of the Resistance. So we had to get to the park at about 7.30. Um, we did go back and forth. So we got to the park at 7.30. We got our boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance. Um, let me know if you want to, or I'll put it on Instagram. I'll put it on Instagram, how our experience with, went with Rise of Resistance. Um, we rode a couple rides, you know, the big ride, Space Mountain, 
Big Thunder Mountain and then we left um, and then when they called us back for our time for the boarding group we went back to the park um, and then we rode Rise of the Resistance we stayed around in Galaxy's Edge for a little bit and then we went back to the hotel um, changed for the after hours party um, and then went back so by the time we got through going back and forth and all that it was a really full day and I knew that I was going to be cold so I wore this under what we wore for the 90s party um, these leggings, if you can see them, they're Star Wars leggings, so I wore these on that day, um, our first day there. I got these from Hot Topic, um, last year when Star, when Galaxy's Edge opened, um, I've only wore, I wore them that one day when we went to Galaxy's Edge and then uh, the first day and then I wore them this time for Rise of the Resistance. Um, what shirt did I wear? Oh, uh, just a black t-shirt. Um, so that, um, of course there's underclothes and things in there, um, that I didn't end up wearing. I took all my, the, you know, dirty clothes and stuff out. Um, and then I had this shirt. I brought this shirt, which is a solo shirt that I got from the Disney store outlet. I didn't even end up wearing that. Maybe I wore it on the way. Down. And then everything else is in here. It's just, um, I have an extra bra, um, some underwear, and some socks. I did want to show these socks I got. I don't know, one of those, you know, sock stores. He, it's here, though. Um, these are Black Panther socks. And I like these because um, that, um, the jogging suit that I got from Costco, it's a little short on my legs, which I don't understand because I'm short. Um, but it's a little short on my legs, so I like the long socks so I have a couple of long pair of socks so these and then these socks are Mickey Mouse socks because I got these from Burlington for three dollars so that is all that I took for clothes um and then let me go through this bag we're running a little long I try not to talk so much when I'm doing these videos but I did want to kind of go over what I normally take. So in this bag, like I said, were our costumes for the 80s party. Uh, and here we were rappers. So there are pictures on my Instagram if you want to go over and see those. So we have the chains. I got these from Party City. Uh, these earrings. So they're like the bamboo earrings. They're a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. I ordered these online from Walmart, of all places. Free shipping. I don't remember how much they were. Um, the chains were $4.99 from Party City. Um, these are the glasses that we wore. So they're just like the old school kind of wrapper glasses. It came with four. For, it was $19.99, Walmart. Walmart.com, 1999, and there were some that were 7.99 on Amazon, but I had to get one, and these came with four, so it comes with a black pair, um, a clear pair, a brown pair, I think two clear, a brown pair. So if we're ever doing another 80s party, I'm set for that. And we also got hats to wear. Um, these are kind of just like bucket hats um also got these walmart.com free shopping loved it um and then we just wore the adidas sweatsuits so um, you all know what the adidas sweatsuits look like so the coat and the pants um these are my sons they look long <laughs> yeah these are his um so we had these on and then I wore my thermals underneath mine. Um, I got those from the Adidas outlet um, and they were actually, they were, they sold them in a set and they were on sale or on clearance for $56 and they were having a 40% off sale that day. So I got both of them for like under, like almost, or $80. So this is mine. I'm going to take all this stuff out of here. Pants. Oh, and then shirts. So we had black t-shirts on. This is my shirt. And then um, I think my son's been wearing his shirt. So just a black t-shirt that I got from Walmart for three bucks. 
Um, so that is it for that. Um, I am going to stop this now and I'll film a separate video for kind of the extras that I bring to Disneyland. I'm going to put this stuff up and then I'll be back in another video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Leave me a comment below um, if you bring a lot of extra clothes. Um, I kind of, I don't make outfits. I know a lot of people will do outfits. I don't do outfits. I do, like, this is how many pants I need. This is how many shirts I need. Um, and then that's it. I only bring one pair of shoes. It's just my running shoes, the shoes I always bring to Disneyland so my feet don't hurt. Um... And I usually always bring a coat. I did bring a coat. I brought my um, Toy Story coat. That unboxing is on my Instagram. So if you want to see that coat, go over to Instagram um, and look at that unboxing video. I got that from Box Lunch. And I'll see you later. Bye.